Another incredible sight to see this morning. This herd of 60 elk dotted the hillside near I-80 and South Foothills Drive. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson witnessed the chaos as crews tried to push them safely back up into Parley's Canyon. Just amazing. I was like, oh my God, who will I tell? I, mean, I wanted everybody to come up here and see this amazing sight. A herd of around 60 elk alongside I-80 <laughs> had people standing on roofs and peering over fences Thursday morning to get a glimpse of their new neighbors. We've lived here 33 years and we've seen all kinds of animals, deer, a bobcat, um, lots of raccoons, an occasional homeless guy, but we've never seen elk before. A breathtaking sight, but one Richard Nash hoped was temporary. We hope they make it up in the mountains. We'd love to see them again next year and uh, hope they're safe and hope they don't ruin anybody's car. Faith Heaton Jolly with the Division of Wildlife Resources says it's fairly common for big game to make its way down into the valley, but it's rare for a herd of this size to make its way here. Our biologists think just because there's been such a heavy snowpack this year, it's just so hard for them to find feed in some of those higher elevation areas and even in the foothills where they're used to finding feed, you know, during the winter months. So they're coming way further down into the valleys. After a okay. three hour effort, <laughs> crews were able to push the herd by foot, car and snowmobile up into Parley's Canyon. Jolly says miraculously without any of the animals or drivers along I-80 injured. Now safely grazing, but leaving memorable hoof prints behind for those lucky enough to bear witness. Oh, this is the joy of living in Utah, to see things like that just in the wild. In Salt Lake City, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah. Wow, what a surprise. Allison has already shared some of these pictures that Luz Hernandez sent into the Fox 13 newsroom of the elk. Look at them all lined up. Wow. Oh, just unbelievable. If you'd like to see more of these images, we do have them on our website at fox13now.com.